Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator Isaacson. They, um, I can't tell you how important it is, I think, for George, for you and John, and, and to have gone over there and brought these images back. And, and I think uh, Chairman Kerry was right in saying we should play them and have them up uh, on the screen, because I think as painful as they are to see them, uh, the thing that this does is allow all of the American people and people around the world to really get engaged with us and, and say, we don't want this to happen again. And, and one of the, the, um, the things that, that you have mentioned is, the, is and I'm, that's what I wanted to question a little bit on, uh, and I think John mentioned this, but I'm willing to hear from, from both of you, the idea that, that satellite sentinel could be used by prosecutors. I was a former prosecutor, so I, I kind of relish the idea of having bad guys that know something's going to be done to them. I mean, something it, 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 at The Hague, it's going to come down on the. Have you visited with prosecutors at The Hague? Are they interested in your technology? Have you talked to them about the kinds of things that, that may be... Um, uh, could be utilized to strengthen cases and those kinds of things. Because if, they, if there's anything out there that's going to prevent this from happening again in other places in the world is that people know that we have an international justice system that's going to work and eventually bring people like you described, George, the just uh, terribly murderous individuals, bring them to justice. I don't... Well, I'll, I'll let you talk about the Hague, the Hague for a second. I, I, I do want to say one thing. Uh, there's an interesting thing that happens when you get involved in these. You think that the minute people know, then it'll stop. Yeah. Your, your, your assumption is that everyone so, just doesn't know. And the truth is, even when you know, it doesn't stop. It, it, it requires... Um, uh, a, 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 a constant drip, drip of information. It, it requires you to keep it piling it on. And sometimes that means that it's not going to be effective in stopping it. But at the very least, it's going to be uh, uh, used later uh, as evidence in a trial. We're trying to continually to, you know, we would like to use this information at the Security Council. Because a lot of the times, uh, what happens at the Security Council is someone, and, we know the players will veto any raising of the mandate of protection because they'll say, well, this is just rebel infighting. Well, we have imagery that shows, we got uh, images yesterday that show uh, an Antonov flying over the top, plumes of smoke uh, where it's bombed uh, innocent villagers. Well, that's not rebel infighting. So our hope is not just to use it uh, uh, at The Hague, but our hope is to try and use it as, uh, a, a, as something to pry the, the Security Council towards raising the mandate from a six to a seven, you know, trying to move that along. And John can speak about talking with The, the, with the Hague. Yes, um, the, the, the current um, International Criminal Court mandate uh, is only uh, uh, involves Darfur, crimes committed uh, in Darfur. So, uh, so basically, as the arrest warrants have been issued for three of the key uh, regime leaders, uh, they're greeted internationally with a lot of skepticism. Like, there's still a number of governments that believe a lot of this evidence is manufactured, uh, and there's still a lot of divisions internationally about uh, whether the crimes were as, as, as terrible as they uh, were alleged to have been. So part of the uh, purpose of having this Satellite Sentinel project is to create airtight evidence for future arrest warrants and prosecutions uh, based on the crimes that are being committed now, which are the same kinds of crimes by the same people orchestrating them as were, uh, were the as is the case in, in Darfur. So it's creating that evidentiary base for future prosecutions. Uh, and we hope that, that at least the three that have already been uh, indicted will actually come to justice someday. Yeah. They, could you... Um, I know that there are others that are involved with you that are your partners in this, and you may want to just mention them uh, in terms of, of who's worked with you and who's... Uh, on, on the Satellite Sentinel yes, project? Well, what, Satellite Sentinel. We, yeah. the, the biggest gift we got was uh, the satellites themselves, a, a digital globe, 
really out of the, for no other reason than the goodness of their heart, donated millions of dollars worth of imagery. Uh, it, it's hard to explain how important that is because there is only really one satellite company that's in that area that can do this for us. So they've, they've been an incredible partner to us and, and have and continue to be. The evidence that we've picked up, we've gotten uh, shots of mass graves. We've gotten shots of uh, tank movement and troop movement and all those things. Remembering and understanding that part of the reason this can work is because of the topography. You know, uh, th this wouldn't be as effective in the Congo because it's harder to see from the sky. You know, with the tr uh, with the with all the trees. Um, who uh, Harvard? Harvard the, uh, then of course, once you get the imagery, you have to have an analysis of it. And so we, there's a team at, at the Harvard Humanitarian Initiative that is dedicated to, uh, in real time. Uh, and uh, analyzing the imagery, producing independent, uh, nonpartisan reports about what they are seeing and what they're what they're uh, uh, assessing uh, these images to mean, and then those reports get put out, and then we try to generate attention around them in order again to act as a deterrent to and, the crimes. And they stay up all night working. They're young <laughs> young people, and they're just doing it. It's all heart. Those kids, they're great. They, thank you very much. You, thank it you, has Sam. been very very helpful.